Oil was leaking into the spark plug tube under the valve cover, meaning I had to keep pulling the coil and wiping it down. Annoying, right? But then I made it worse. I stripped one of the valve cover bolt holes. At that point, I thought, well, that's it. I'm screwed. Enter the $10 hero, the Helicoil Thread Restorer. This little kit comes with a drill bit, a burr bit, a tap, and an inserter tool. Basically a DIY rescue squad. First, I tossed the burr bit into the drill and cleaned out the shredded remains of the old threads in the valve cover. Not much left, just metal confetti. Then I grabbed the drill bit from the kit and drilled the hole, trying to keep it as straight as I could. No fancy jig, just eyeballing it and hoping for the best. I flipped the valve cover upside down to shake out the scraps and knocked the bolts right out too. Classic. Next, I loaded the tap into this ancient tap holder, a relic from my grandfather's toolbox. Bet you can't even buy one like this anymore. I turned the tap clockwise, then backed it off every half turn to break up the metal scraps and keep it running smooth. Always makes me nervous. Snap a tap in there and you've got a whole new problem. After cutting the threads, I flipped the valve cover again to shake out all the metal shrapnel, because nothing says professional like not leaving glitter in your engine. Clean hole, happy life. Now the moment of truth. Will this $10 helicoil fix really hold? Spoiler alert, it's stronger than the original threads. I grabbed the spring insert, slipped it onto the installer, and drove it carefully into the freshly tapped hole, hoping I wasn't about to turn a $10 fix into a $100 disaster. I skipped the guide tool from the kit. The hole was already threaded, and the spring could only go in one way. It's like putting on a hat. You just can't mess it up. Once the spring was snug, I yanked the installer out like a magician pulling off a trick. Final step? Break off the tang with a burr bit, that tiny metal tab at the end that helped twist the spring in. With a steady hand and my grandfather's trusty tap holder, I took it down without a hitch. Boom, valve cover thread restored, and then justice. I screwed the bolt into the valve cover. Watch this, it goes in perfectly like it was brand new. If you like this $10 valve cover fix, hit subscribe. Follow along and stay tuned for more handy tricks.